Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and there's something to be said about cuddling up with a nice cuddly blanket on the couch while we're watching TV. The only problem is if we're cuddled up on it, we do not have our hands free. So let's make a blanket with arms so that we can cuddle and have our hands free when we need them. So what we're looking to buy is a beautiful cuddly type of fabric like a fleece. Now you can get fleece one-sided or you can get them two-sided like this red fleece. This red fleece is from Benartex and it is what they call their Bernina red. And you know how I love my red. Because this is a stretch knit fabric, it is important that we use a stretch needle. And because this is thick, I would go for the bigger one like a 9014. We will need an all-purpose thread in the bobbin and in the top. I would recommend a walking foot. One other thing that we can do is to make an adjustment on our sewing machine. Instead of having tiny stitches, we're going to go a little bit bigger. Those bigger stitches work better for these thicker fabrics. Now normally when we put a sleeve on anything, we have a round circle that we need to sew that sleeve into. Well, to make this simple, there's going to be no round circle. This is going to be a very easy project, but I am going to be using three yards of fabric. There's a lot of fabric, so what I'm going to do is show you a miniature of what we're going to do when we get to this red fabric. So I've started with three yards of fabric, and I do have it folded. On one end, we're going to cut the sleeves and a pocket. To do that, we're going to measure over 24 inches and cut that apart. The sleeves are going to be 24 inch squares, so now we're going to go up 24 inches and cut. So this leftover will be the pocket. For the sleeves, we need to find a center mark at 12 inches, so now we'll have two 24 inch squares. Now we have that long piece of fabric. From the fold, we're going to measure over 11 inches and cut down equally 11 inches to our 24 inch mark. So when we open it up, we're going to have a 22 inch spot and two cuts. These sleeves are going to fit right in here. So we're not going to have a round hole. We're going to work with it flat. So to sew that sleeve on, we're going to match up that center mark just to open this up a little bit. Match up the center and we're going to stitch down into that center and then just continue by moving that over and continue stitching. So we have a flat seam that that sleeve is stitched on. When that long cut goes back together, we have that sleeve inside and we're going to be able to stitch that top of the sleeve and that blanket back together. So when we do two sleeves, you're going to see where we have those sleeves inside of a blanket. So let's get to the fun red fabric. My sleeves are going to be 24 inch squares. So for that 24 inch sleeve, I'm going to measure over 24 inches in both directions. I'm going to mark my wrong side and my wrong side. I will have a little piece left over along that fold and that is going to be a pocket. So I'm going to mark the wrong side of that. So the rest of this fabric will be that blanket. So only in one area will you need to mark so you know that is going to be the wrong side. From here, I'm going to cut that 24 inches right from the fold down to the selvage and then trim that off so that I have a 24 inch square. Remove that piece that's going to be the pocket and then on that 24 inch square, I'm going to find that halfway mark and mark it. So I have the 12 inch mark on the one side and I'm going to turn it around and mark that 12 inch on the reverse side. 
So the fold is facing me and I'm going to measure over 11 inches and I'm going to measure down 24 inches. We're cutting through both of those fabrics. This area is where the sleeves are going to go. So I'm going to place right sides together. Here is my sleeve. There's the right side and there's that wrong side where I have that mark. This halfway mark match it up to the end of that cut line. So I have both right sides facing. And clip. Put that last clip right at that point and then take that big piece of fabric, open it up, and you're going to be able to continue clipping that sleeve along that cut. And I'm going to start by putting another clip right there beside that last one. And that's just going to hold that together for me. And continue clipping. So when I lift it up, I have that sleeve attached to that cut. So let's go to the machine and I'll show you how easy it is to stitch this and to stitch this cut point. So I'm going to sew this fabric together and I'm going to put that sleeve part down. And it's okay if you start stitching even though the sleeve underneath is here. Line up your machine. I did make those stitches a little bit bigger. And I do have a video on how to use a walking foot if you do need that. I'll put that in the description. So I'm going to take that clip out and just let the machine go right over top. And I'm going to stitch all the way until I get to that cut. So here I am with that area that I did cut. So I'm going to make sure all of my fabric is flat underneath. And I'm going to take this fabric and I'm going to straighten it up. You will see that I have a little bit of the fold on the top, but the underneath should be flat. Take these folds and just pinch them with your fingers. You can take out those clips and just give this fabric a little bit of a tug and start stitching. When you come to any of the fold, just pull it in the back and straighten it up. So I'm stitching, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to just smooth this area out as I go along. And get right around that corner. Now I can straighten up and finish that side. So when we look at where this cut came, this is where those little areas were that I held. As I smoothed it, it's okay if this back piece comes up a little. That's just going to give it that little bit of a shape. From here, we can just cut just a little bit into our little V there. So that seam is now nice and flat. The back side had no wrinkles. And this side is nice and flat. So there was that cut area. So this was that cut. So we're just going to start, stitch, turn the corner, and go all the way down, matching up our sleeves. So there are those sleeves and that top cut. We're going to want to put that pocket just a little bit below the sleeves. And with this pocket, you also have choices. You can just leave it this flat side and sew along those two edges so your hands will go in between, or you can put this at a diagonal. So the top will be smaller than that bottom, and that way it's more comfortable to put your hands in. And this top measurement really is just a personal measurement that you like. So I did cut a little bit off of the tops bring it down about two inches from the bottom of these sleeves. So it does have that little bit of a triangular shape. I folded the edge over and I top stitch on both of those sides where the hand is going to go in. Now just fold down and fold that bottom over. And this is where we're going to need some pins. Top stitch along the bottom 
and top stitch along the top. I did two rows of stitching just because I do like the look of it. Now we have that nice comfortable pocket in the front. The back part is that open seam. Now we need to do something to finish off the edges. And well, that is going to be a fun decision that you can make on your own. This fabric will not unravel. So we can literally just leave that as a straight cut so that we could just finish off those edges. We can roll an edge and just do a line of stitching so you have a little fold all the way around. Or you can do a decorative blanket stitch on the machine all the way around. So our cuddly blanket with arms is now done. Now before you run and jump on the couch and cuddle in your blanket, I would highly recommend giving this a good fluff in the dryer. We want to get rid of all the little fluffs from where we did the cutting. That way you won't wear it or the couch won't wear it. Now there's definitely fluff when you are sewing with fleece. So be sure to take time and give your sewing machine a little bit of TLC and give it a cleaning. So to give you an idea on the size of this cuddly blanket, I'm going to show you the difference between a five foot person and my husband who is six foot. And that way you can make adjustments as you see fit. So with this lovely big blanket and when of course we're gonna cuddle on the couch, we're just gonna slide our arms in And our back is on the couch. It is very long. Matter of fact, he has this much extra along the bottom. So this is a good cuddly thing. And you have pockets. Now there's no excuse for not being warm on the couch. And for me, it's going to be very big. Yeah, you have to take it off now. <laughs> You're not on the couch. <laughs> so one arm, two arms, so I can have lots of room to cuddle on the couch. And I don't even have to curl my legs. I can leave my legs long. So this is definitely big enough for someone five foot, six foot, and even seven foot. And we started with three yards of fabric. So let's make a cuddly blanket with arms so that we could cuddle on the couch. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing or modeling next time in the sewing room. And make sure every day is a sotacular day. Bye for now. <laughs>